Hello there, um, YouTube. Yeah, I'm starting to make videos a little more prolifically now that I'm actually settled in here again. So hopefully that trend will be able to continue and I don't get distracted by school and all that fun stuff. Stone Commander. Uh, I, it's been a while since we've talked. Uh, I think the last time I made a video response to you was in uh, November. I think I've left a couple comments on your videos since then, but uh, I think that was the last video response I made to you. So, here I am again. Uh, let's get started. Uh, your question, basically, was, do you think that the Bible has been tampered with over the years? And the answer, as you correctly predicted, is yes, I do think that. It's not, however, that I have no idea of exactly how it was tampered with. We actually do have uh, some instances where we are pretty sure, at least, that the Bible was tampered with. I'll mention three examples in this video. The first one is in John 7, 53 to 8, 11. This is the adul adulterous stoning uh, parable. It's probably one of the best known stories in the Bible. It's basically where uh, Jesus sees a woman about to be stoned for adultery and he says, he that is without sin among you, go cast the first stone. And basically, nobody cast a stone, and Jesus says, go and sin no more. A truly heartwarming story, to be sure. But the thing is, it's not in the oldest and best manuscripts of John. It really isn't. In fact, some of the uh, later manuscripts can't even agree on where it is. Some of them place it in different locations in John. Some even place it as late as John 21. And some of them even have it in Luke 21. But ultimately, in the oldest and best manuscripts we currently have, and we don't have, like, the originals, uh, unfortunately. The only way to be sure of anything being tampered with would be to have the originals with us. Unfortunately, we don't. The earliest ones we have are pretty much copies of copies of copies. That's still pretty good. It's enough for us to determine some forgeries, like the one I just mentioned, but unfortunately, we don't have the original. So, the woman taking an adultery story, that's probably a forgery. Another one would be Mark 16 the end of Mark 16, verses 9 through 20. This is where Jesus uh, revealed his resurrected self and essentially starts telling his disciples about stuff like the people who believed are saved and those who don't are damned, yada, yada, yada. He says, uh, you will know the blessed ones because they'll be able to speak in tongues and cast out demons in my name and that kind of thing and then he ascends into heaven and sits on the right hand of God. The original manuscripts of Mark don't have that part. Mark just ends originally with Jesus uh, resurrected. He doesn't show himself to anybody. And actually, there is a book that was written by on the subject. It's called Misquoting Jesus, the story behind who changed the Bible and why. Unfortunately, I couldn't really find a free version of it. Uh, I've got a link to Amazon, but unfortunately, I couldn't find a free version. But yeah, I do have a copy of that book, and it's a very interesting read. I would definitely recommend it. And we can even see this happening relatively recently. The verse in 1 John, 1 John 5, 7 through 8, is the only uh, verse that verses in the Bible that mention the Trinity, and that one was not added until the 16th century. Uh, presumably it was due to, you know, pressure from the church saying that, hey, the omission of the Trinity is a pretty big threat to our established doctrine of the Trinity actually being, you know, real. 
Yeah, so those are my three examples. And there's an example of people revising the Bible even today. I don't know if you've ever heard of a website called Conservapedia, but they're starting something called the Conservative Bible Project. And what they're doing is they're taking the Bible and they're, quote-unquote, taking out its liberal bias. So there's an example right now out in the open that you can see of somebody modifying religious texts to suit their own established doctrine. So uh, anyway, um, hope you're well, Stone Commander, and um, yeah, bye.